Hey, what's going on YouTube? Marine X back at it again. This is the kit that lives in my wife's car. Why does this matter, right? I have a kit that lives in my truck and I got an EDC kit that's in my bag, but sometimes those two things aren't with me. We just deployed this thing last week to uh, take apart a friend's bed that they wanted us to help move in their garage. Sound like a simple task until we realized it was a California King and they had no tools in the house. Boom, went to the back of the wife's car, Grab this military issued looking type of bag. This bag just gives me remnants of the type of bag that our, you know, our seven ton, our MRAP drivers would keep a small duty type bag in their vehicles full of like the most commonly uh, employed tools ready to rock and roll. This thing is made of a canvas, so it's a heavy duty cotton just one massive brass slipper uh, zipper here in the middle. It, it does have four slip pockets on either side. Super simple bag. I got it in the olive, the green color. It also comes in like this gray and navy blue uh, colorway, which I wasn't the biggest fan of, but I really like this. I've had this thing for years. You can see it's worn a little bit, but it's still holding up pretty strong. It only comes in like 14 bucks. So when, if and when it does, it's time to change this thing out. It's not a big deal. It is 11 by 7 by 6. So not the biggest bag, but it still is, you know, handy. So let's first off, let's talk about what I keep on the outside of the bag. So here on this outside pocket here, I do have some gloves. And this is mostly to just keep stuff off of my hands, not necessarily you know, so oils, chemicals, stuff like that, keeping it off my hands and give me a little bit of grip if we're in different situations. Also here, we keep some zip ties. On the other side of the bag, we keep a tape measure. This is only a 25 foot tape measure. Nothing super special about this thing. This is by Stanley. So you're pretty sure you can pick these things up everywhere, a power lock. 25 foot tape measure. Also, one of my favorite items in a must have is a flashlight. Now this is a Phoenix LD05 flashlight, relatively simple flashlight. And it does have several modes that I like. First off, it does have the incandescent type of bulb, which puts out plenty of light. But my favorite, by far my favorite feature of this flashlight is the black light. And hopefully you can see that in the camera. We use this when we go on trips, We'll take it into a hotel room. Let's check the sheets. Let's make sure things look clean, stuff like that. So now we have, you know, open up the back of the vehicle, grab this flashlight. We can go in the hotel room. Let's make sure they cleaned it and make sure it's good to go before we put our bodies into that sheet. So that's my favorite part of that flashlight. So let's dive into the actual bag itself. This is just a, you know, a hodgepodge of tools that have kind of been downgraded slowly from the big toolbox behind me and from other toolkits that I don't want to get rid of because I see the usefulness of those still. So the first thing we have on top is a 19 piece metric cobalt ratchet and socket set. It does have skips, right? So it has five, six, seven. And then next thing you know, you know, we're missing 11, we're missing 13, but it does, you know, pretty good set. Nonetheless, I've been using this thing for years and I'm actually pretty impressed that I've kept up with all the sockets all this time. Really, really basic Stanley screwdriver that was actually passed down to me from my grandfather. So this thing won't be going anywhere and I will keep it in kits for years to come. So here in this little side pocket on the inside of the bag, we do have, I don't absolutely have no reason to know why there's a dry erase marker in here. I think there's random things that just make it in kits and we're not even sure why. I would imagine we can quickly mark something, have the ability to rub it off and not leave it on there. So we do have several sets of pliers in here. 
the Nipex uh, pliers, which are fantastic. These are about some five inch variants. A pencil in here as well, carpenter's pencil, just in case we need to mark some items. Of course, safety goggles are a paramount, I believe, in uh, protecting your fingers, your eyes, your hands. You only get one set of all of those, and why risk it? Made in America, Eklund hex key set. Now I have this, you know, Eklund. I just love them. I don't even know if I own any other set of um, hex keys other than Eklund. Um, I just really like the reliability, and so I just like them a lot. So this is a ratcheting bit set. This thing has a, a reversible ratcheting screwdriver handle. Um, so this kit, it's a made in China kit, but it does have lots of different variants. It has three to seven milliliter, uh, mil uh, millimeters. It has some T bits in here. It has flatheads. It has Phillips. It has just a huge amount of bits that if you're at a buddy's house, you're going to most likely find the bit that you need to tackle the situation that you're in squares and T's and hexes and only thing this thing is really missing is security bits, which if you wanted to add that to it, you could, but I don't really see the point of that if I'm just going to be using this every now and again, especially if I'm going over a friend's house or something like that. So next in the kit, I have a full, and this was a relatively inexpensive purchase on Amazon. I'll link as much of this stuff up below as I can. Some of the stuff, I might not be able to find it. I've had this stuff for so long. But this is a 24 piece combination wrench set. These are not uh, ratcheting. They're nothing super special about these things. They kind of got rough edges. I don't even think they're six point. Let's take a look. Nope, they're 12 point. So, but you know what? There are plenty of sizes in here. We got from eight up to 24 with a few skips. So I do skip nine, I skip 16. But, you know, and I skipped 23, 22 and 20, but it also includes SAE. You know, this is just a great set to have. It was not very expensive on Amazon. It doesn't get used very often. I keep it in the bag so I don't have to worry about rusting out. But it's nice to know that if I need to help somebody, you know, take apart a bed, uh, adjust or tighten a toilet, you know, maybe get under their sink and I may not have monkey wrenches with me, but just something to make some quick tightening turns, this kit is gonna get it done. So the bottom of the bag is where we kinda now have just a random onslaught of tools. So here's a door built uh, slotted screwdriver. And I mean, when's the last time we seen door built? I don't even know if they make door built anymore. I've had this thing for years as well to go along with that one random flathead that you saw. We do have some traditional made in America channel locks and these things have had years of use and I'm just not going to get rid of them. I mean, they work well and they always get the job done. They always cinch down. They give me plenty of leverage. I just, you know, I own several, several channel locks that I keep all over the place. Now, these next set, this is the actual uh, ratchet for the socket set. Doesn't have much knurling on it, and the handle is decent. You know, this is gonna be pretty good for set that's kept in the vehicle. This does have 90 teeth in it, which it actually has a nice sound to it. So it's pretty nice if you're in a tight spot, tight spaces, you can get in there, and it's not that many clicks before, you know, you're able to make your next turn. So that's really appreciated. Now, I like to keep in the bottom of a lot of my kits, duplicates of stuff, just in case we need to give it out. So at the bottom of our kit, I have a whole lot of extra um, open wrench wrenches here. So a lot of common wrenches. So tens and um, you know, ten millimeters, thirteen millimeters. And what I like to use these for is if I do go to a friend's house and they don't have a ten a ten millimeter or the specific tool for something that's kind of important, like maybe tightening your toilet seat weekly, right? I'll just give it to them. So it's really nice. I've normally, most of these are Tecton. So I just went on Tecton's website and bought a bunch of single um, wrenches. Um, but some of these are just random wrenches that I've had for years, no name wrenches. 
but I like to keep these in here so that I can leave those with people whenever I see fit. I know there's tons more stuff I could have put in this bag. What do you think are some key things that I should put in this bag? This lives in my wife's vehicle in her trunk area next to the spare tire. Doesn't get touched very often, but it is nice to have. Tell me what's in your kit, man. What's in your main kit? What's in your spouse's kit? You know, what do you keep around? It's always on the ready to go. And if you like stuff like this, click click here. I'm going to put some more videos up with some more kits that might give you some ideas of how to outfit things that you have. Make sure you like this video. Let YouTube know that they should share this with others. If this is your first time here, welcome. We appreciate you stopping by. For everybody else, we'll speak soon.